All right, so it is winter, which unfortunately that means everyone's survival rate is cut in half. So let's see how this goes. Hi, this is Charity and welcome back to the Prehistoric Werewolf Challenge. A challenge in The Sims 4 where we play as prehistoric werewolves that have no civilization. So the rules for this challenge will be in the description below, but if you find death rolls disturbing for pregnancies and infants and children, please do not watch this video because it may be triggering. So we're just here with Alicia Alley and Landon Ogden, which is the next family that is enrolled in the Wild Fangs clan. Okay, this may be a problem. I think the reason why the babies are crying is because they are outside in the cold. I did not consider this when I started making this series. They're supposed to be outside during winter, but this is not going to work. They must have changed it. They used to not care. Yes, that's exactly it. As soon as I moved them into the basement, they're fine. All right, I moved them back upstairs and they seem to be fine now. Well, starting out in winter is unfortunate because we can't fish in the lake and nothing is growing except for wolfsbane. Oh no, Jonathan Parrish is freezing to death. Uh, I hope he's not one of my sims. Oh no, he is. Oh, come on. That can't be. No, he has two toddlers and he's by himself. Oh, I'm going to have to um, fix that. Why do Sims not wear the proper clothing? All right, now that that is fixed, uh, luckily I have the adopt toddler and adopt baby options on. So Jonathan lost his toddlers, but I was able to get them back because they were adopted by another family. So I've discovered that once a werewolf makes his way through the tunnels, he can tell someone else about it and maybe they can go through the tunnels too? I don't know why it's in small talk, but anyway, tell about underground tunnels. Maybe that means Alyssa will not have to find her way down there. And if we can pass on the knowledge that way, don't go in there come back out we can actually move the babies downstairs okay tunnel path discovered Alyssa can now use the underground tunnels to travel directly between the old above ground bunker and the sewer grate okay so that only gets her one tunnel okay maybe if I continue to tell her because basically I made a nursery downstairs and I don't want to have to go through the tunnel finding procedure over and over again. So it makes sense that they could tell each other about it. Hopefully she doesn't get annoyed with me that I'm saying the same thing over and over again because sometimes that happens with Sims. Come on, hurry up. Your kids are tired and hungry. Okay, yes, now she can use all of it. All right, so that solves my problem with the ones who are not werewolves getting through the tunnels because that was a problem before whereas if you weren't a werewolf it would never even give you the option to discover the tunnel entrances all right once they both get down there i'm going to move the babies down there oh come on no don't go back and go to the bathroom you can take a bath downstairs listen to that crying they actually make a different noise than normal babies Oh no, he doesn't like gardening. Well, tough luck. Okay, it's their birthdays. So Kelly and Gia can age up now into infants. Happy birthday, Gia. And Gia's going to be intense. Happy birthday, Kelly. And Kelly is going to be calm. Okay, I'm going to attempt to make some food with Alyssa because Landon is not doing so well. He has no food and he's feeling really bad. So if I have him make any food, he's going to hate cooking. Oh, Alyssa is eating for two. No, put Gia down first. Don't go upstairs. All right, they're getting a dangerous amount of fury. So I actually made panic rooms down here so that we can get the transformation mastery easier. 
Okay, we have Landon transforming. And there goes Alyssa. Again? Okay, Wolfgang Wilder, I'm not going to save you. Uh, Christopher? I don't think Christopher can die. At least I've never seen him die. Oh no, we're having our first earthquake. All right, so it is winter, which unfortunately that means everyone's survival rate is cut in half. And the two infants that we have, they did not have any traits. So there's no dormant wolf, there's no greater wolf blood. And it seems that Alyssa has a lot of bad traits, unfortunately. So let's see how this goes. Oh, all we lost was the pregnancy? Everybody else survives. Well, that is pretty good, actually, for winter. I'll take that. Okay, Alyssa and Landon are jokesters. Sure, why not? And, of course, we're transforming. Oh, no, it's another earthquake. And I have my two werewolves rampaging. Well, this time, ignore the pregnancy because she's not pregnant. So we'll just skip that row. Oh, and both of the infants have died. And it looks like the pregnancy doesn't matter how high it is. They're always going to die. That's sad. Well, it looks like they're going to spend all of their time trying to get over their sadness of losing their children. So they can't get pregnant right away because neither one of them is able to initiate it since they're too sad. All right, finally, it's Tuesday about noon and we can try and have another baby. Okay, Landon is moving on to Wild Fang Renegades. And Landon has joined the Wild Fangs. And Alyssa is eating for two. Alright, Alyssa is now part of the Wild Fangs. Alright, Landon is going to be active, which is a good trait. Alright, let's see if we can challenge for pack leadership. Landon is flirty and we're confident, although it's about to run out. Oh no, we didn't win that one. Although he is injured and I am not. That's weird. Okay, devouring items actually gives you energy as well as fills your hunger need. I didn't know that. Basically, they never have to sleep now. Oh, there's an earthquake. So we have to do another death roll. And for our next death roll, the results are... Um... We only have Landon alive. All right, this figures. We lose the female yet again. Only the males seem to survive for some reason. Okay, poor Landon. But to be honest, this family started out in winter. So since his wife passed away and he has no children, this family is basically the end of the line. And I could continue as far as I could with Landon and get him his aspiration and see if he could complete some things. But to be honest, I think that's not a good investment because he's only one person and most likely he would pass away before the end of the challenge because there's no one to continue his line on so basically what we'll have to do is pick a new family to live here and move out all of the stuff so i have removed all of the artifacts that this family collected and all of the books and taken away all of the stuff that was in the chests and other places food so we will start off a new family, which there's still two days left of winter. So I'm not sure if that would be best to start off the new family in winter, but why not? I don't think we're going to make any progress with Landon. If we move in a new family, keeping a pregnancy is going to be really hard. And then if we lose either one of the male or the female, then the line is dead again. So, I guess we could try it anyway. Okay, here we are with the new group, and we're figuring out if we have any faded mates. 
Okay, we found one. Cassandra and Pablo. And then we have to try for baby right away. Okay, I wasn't able to find all of the paths with Pablo, but I did find two of them. So we'll go ahead and tell Cassandra about those and see if she can find the last one. Oh, too late. They started transforming. Okay, and Cassandra is eating for two, even though she is trying to regain control of herself. We were able to purchase the hunting abilities, though, so they can feed themselves once they stop rampaging because she's starving. And there they are. They're both back to normal. Okay, we are finally able to go to the underground. And Pablo has found the last path. Well, we'll see how many books we can read before the day is over. All right, so we have the final death roll, hopefully, unless there is a disaster in the next sim hour. And we're going to be rolling for Pablo, Cassandra, and her pregnancy. And yet again, we have a loss in the family. So Cassandra, unfortunately, didn't make it. Why can't we have the guy not make it for once? All right, well... Unfortunately, Cassandra is not going to be around and we will have to move in a new family next time. Well, death by freezing. That's just what happens in the winter time. Unfortunately, we're going to have a lot of deaths. And if we start out with a family that doesn't have any children, this is just unfortunately what's going to happen every winter. So this is Charity. Thanks for watching.